Sanibab, welcome. Come here. I'm here. here. Welcome to the Karwalos de Goa. We are from Madel in Margam. That's my wife. Her land known as Chinki. Sanyo Bab, welcome to Melbourne and we all go and are excited that you are here. Now you are entering Goa in Melbourne. If you look at the registration, Sanyo, see that's Goan and we have the other one is Goinkar. So we do this here just to have the Goinkar pond to keep it active. So it is a recognition of us, Goans and Goinkar pond. Sanyo, come along. There's more to show you. Okay, if you remember Old Market Margaon, this sign was in the, in the center of the roundabout. Now the roundabout shows Margaon, which is there. The other one is Vasco. So it was a sign, one is going to Ponda towards uh, Pai Theatris Hall. And you remember this Margaon, one road goes to your place, surrounding, and the other one is from uh, going to my place, that is Madel Margaon. We have two altars in this house. One altar is the religious one. And this frame, what you can see, is more than 60 years old, which I brought it from my house in Goa. This frame was bought by my mom and dad when we were little children. Our second altar, which I'll show you, is very interesting. Come along. This is my second altar. And it is of uh, late Alfred Rose. Now, this blazer belongs to Alfred Rose and it was uh, donated by Rita Rose. And when I got this blazer, I was stunned because I never expected this would be in my house. But to have this frame in this house is such a big honor and I really, really thank Rita for giving us this. This frame is to remind a lot of people who is Alfred Rose, what he did, what was his work. So if you look at it, and then we have a book written by Isidore Dantes, and it is by published by the director of Art and Culture Goa. So everyone who comes in can have a look at the book. It has a history of Alfred Rose, and they can see various things and get a lot and lots of information. So it starts from his place in Aldona and ends up with history history. So this book gives a lot of information for people who can just have a look. Not only look, but not forgetting his quote, what he performed on stage. Okay, if you see this, this is a record, London Asso Mood by Alfred and Rita. This record was given to me uh, Rita, by Rita Rose and I was so desperately looking out for this record and one day when I knocked the door and I spoke to Rita, she was kind enough to give me this. And I don't know how to you know, thank Rita for this uh, LP. So I've got another LP into the clear. And that's some of, that is one of the songs what I've said in the musical, I sang in the musical show, which is called Air Crash and Bus Accident. So I picked up from there. Sanyo, now I'll show you something very, very exciting, which will be a part of you. And I'll show you the Hambes of real Konkani state. They held it for many years with a lot of sacrifice. <laughs> I have a collection of the young generation and the old generation of theatres. It starts from Kid Boxer, it starts from Star of Arosim and ends to the youngest singers of Konkani stage including Balanka. We have Rosie Alvarez and there are many non goans who also performed on Konkani stage like Ushail and many others. And we have nostalgic singers like Nightingales in different form, uh, Lorna, we have Usha, Lata, the Mangeshkar family, and then 
a lot of lot of these singers, including our comedian. So I've got about 80 artists from Goa, from yesteryears and uh, of the recent years. So this is my collection of the artists. Now putting our theatres aside and our music aside, let's move to politics. If you see a uh, Dr. Jack Sequeira, also known as father of opinion troll, I really was looking out for his photo and I couldn't really get it. Finally, I contacted, contacted my best friend, Joanna Fernandez, and he contacted his friend who's Dr. Jack Sequeira's granddaughter, uh, Paula. And that's how I managed to get this photograph, which I was very, very um, thrilled and happy and satisfied. So I, every guest who comes in the house will ask me who is this person and I try to tell him. Today we are there only because of Dr. Jack Sequeira and today we are going to only because of him. Going forward, I see another young dynamic politician called, and he's also a, a advocate by profession, is advocate Carlos Alvarez. Now, Carlos, if you know, we grew up together. We are from the same parish. I'm from Mardell. Carlos is from Old Market. And today I can see another Jack Sequera into Carlos. I'm just hoping and praying that uh, Carlos will take the same work of Dr. Jack Sequera. And hoping Ani Goinka Pon Sadhan Suttale. This frame is so lovely done by none other than cartoonist Alex Fernandez from Shiole, a best friend of mine who was here and I said I want to portray Goan different type of festivals what we have in Goa so how can we do it so I thought I would do it in a form of a frame and so I took this idea to Alex and he has done all this work for me so if you see it starts from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August till December so in January we start with three things, we, then we have the carnival, we have Sontra, we have Holi, we have Sigma and then finally it ends up with Christmas and then we have also going to side before that. So this frame anyone can come and he, they are not knowing about festivals of Goa, we just have a look what festivals we have in Goa and that's a lovely work from Alex's which portrays the different type of festivals we celebrate in Goa. Continuing with my best friend Alex's work, he has done this frame of Lorna. If you see this frame, it has all songs of Lorna and it has, he has drawn it, uh, the songs uh, in such a way that it tells you, for example, Mo, he has shown couple there. When you say adios, he says bye. So this frame depicts every, so even a youth tomorrow who doesn't understand Konkani can come and say when he says more but so they can look at this and understand a lot. You can see Chris Perry there with his music and the work is done by Alex is in 2011. Okay, I'll show you some more of uh, work of Alex's. Now this is quite interesting. It is a story of family shown in form of a frame, different frame. So if you look at this, here our people they go to the forest get cashews and then they try to you know cashew you need to smash it and olden days they used to do it by foot then it is party katalami so it is distilled and once they have distilled it party kar, it is sent to the market where those people come and sell fedi and finally the bar owners tavern owners would come to this place buy it and then sell it to the pub so this frame of Alex's is done in a form of a story, but it's it's framed in such a way. But when you look at it, it just looks like you know just different pictures. But it has a story starting from starting from the start to the end. This garafa, you know, most of our goans know why we use garafa to be to store fairy, whether it's mar or kaju. Now this. Gara found was donated or given to gifted to me by my best friend Sadi Fernandez, a top singer in Goa, famous for his Mira Mira. So he had gifted me this and he said, Mario, to Australia, to Australia, to our Gara found with her. And when his wife Ludes came to know, his strong supporter Ludes came to know that Mario is taking it to Australia, 
she put this rope around and she's done it by her. So that's her own work, hand work. It's very interesting, right? In our olden days, we didn't have electricity. So I'm saying petrol max. Back to electricity, now we are going to be fair. It's a good question. So, it's a fair This is given, to my mom, given by my mom, Daisy. She said, Baba, you take it to Australia because this will give you memories of your grandmother. So if you look at this, this is more than 100 years old. It was used by my grandmother. And then there was a time when uh, water, we got water through taps. We stopped using this very from the well. And there's something else also I'll show you, which is the um, Confro and the Koiti. Now the Koiti is not very old, but the Confro is more than 100 years old. This also belongs to my grandmother. They used to make samnas for our Holy Spirit feast. So it reminds me not only of a confro, but it reminds me of the Holy Spirit feast we used to celebrate in Martha, which we still celebrate. I'll show you something very interesting which you will find. Now this are all the kunnes and going back to Holy Spirit feast, Ami Purvodate Fens Mutale. And in front of my house, they used to sell all this. But these are collection old and new. I bought some from Mapsa Market and some from our Holy Spirit feast. So what we do is, when we have big, better, a small family coming home, we only use the kunne, which is easy to manage uh, the thing. And then um, we also try and cook it on, on slow fire, which, uh, so you get that, um, uh, you know, but it is slow cooking. Also, if you see, where we to have the water, and store water for coolness when we didn't have electricity and fridge. So we have that one over there. Daniel, come, I'll show you my backyard where all the going car on action takes place. So if you see around, if you see this is where all the goy cars come and have a good time. And if you if this door reminds me of most of the doors in the olden days, so we try to put that as put apart. Of course, this is the new type of setup. And don't forget the bullock cart. So this reminds me a lot when I sit down. Reminds me of Goa. And then makes me feel a bit sentimental when I don't see them anymore. But at least I see them, see this in my house. Kidem, what, when you see, uh, when you don't see what? The bullock cart. When I the don't bullock, see, ah, uh, okay, we, okay. I don't see bullock cart anymore Correct. in, my, in Goa. So it, you know, it makes me feel very bad. But when I come back to Melbourne, I really feel nice because I know I have a bullock cart. Mm -hmm. Come, Sunny, I'll show you something more, which is more interesting. I built in the olden days. I remember, we didn't have cars. We this, but we had to re re rely on the train coming from Mirage. And the train would start from Vasco. You know, very, you know that it starts from Vasco. Then it comes to Kansaulim, then it comes to Majorda, you know, and that was closer to you, to go home for you for Saraulim. <laughs> and then it comes to Margao and it was more convenient for me to get down because I'm from Madeal in Margao. Mm -hmm. Then if you see around, we have the boat here, which if you go to Kolwa or Kansaulim, you see Sanzumao uh, boat in Kolwa. And then these are the places what just reminds me. Then also, Look at Soza Lobo. This is the place where all the goans come and relax. It's a place for sun and fun. And not forgetting Soza Lobo's food, which the world today recognizes, and where goan music was played. So if you see that, if you see around all that, we have the Portuguese spots, just bringing you memories of Goa farm. And then not forgetting the and this is where they had their hands. So just to uh, a little of it and just bringing up memories of Goa. So I just put uh, all this together. So at least people 
who didn't know or didn't have an opportunity always lived in Bombay or Africa or UK come and have a look here and bring you memories if you remember this fruit amche adlani atlade तो पान दिखे इतना वास आता था का रिमेम्बर वेन वी वर यंग शुड जस्ट जम्प अराउंड एंड जस्ट स्मेल द लीव सो द फीलिंग ऑफ इट इज स्टिल देर एंड द ग्रेट फ्रूट इफ यू सी ओके सानिया बाब आई टुक यू अराउंड यू हैव सीन सो मेनी थिंग ओ टिपिक गोवा गोवाज नॉस्टैल्जिक मोमेंट यू बींग कॉकनी एम्बेसडर एंड रिप्रेजेंटिंग गोवान्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड नॉट ओनली यू बट ऑल्सो दी आर द सिंगर One thing I want you to do is have a stage class like how our Sorgis Alfred Rose had. Your dress work is more important than your performance. With your golden voice, please have the stage class. So they both go together hand in hand, and the youth looking at the stage, looking at uh, hearing your voice, and looking at your class will always want to do the same what you have done. Not only that, you being the Konkani ambassador, please, please spread the message of Konkani that we all, the coming youth, should learn our nostalgic, unforgettable Goan language, which is Konkani. Okay, and if you meet me in Kerala, I'll give you a hug. Thank you very much.